Caretakers often pose with the animals they look after to ingrain lovely moments in their memory. However, when this man smiled in front of the camera with a gorilla, he could have never imagined what would happen next. Gorillas are the biggest apes in the world. They are renowned for their brilliant intelligence as well as their beauty. Unfortunately, what we admire most about them also makes them prize targets for poachers. Adult gorillas are extremely sought after, which means many younglings end up orphans way before they're ready to provide for themselves. And this is what happened to poor little Bobga. Mary and her husband Michael were nature enthusiasts that ran an anti-poaching organization specialized in the trade of apes. The American couple first became aware of the horrid trade when they came to Gabon on holiday. It had always been their dream to meet and interact with gorillas. Mary still distinctly remembers the day. They had to hike extreme lengths up the hills in the jungle, accompanied by a knowledgeable guide. It was their intention to seek out a troop of gorillas and have a first-hand experience with them. The day was misty, but they managed to find the troop and sit with them peacefully while they went about their daily routine. Mary said it was a life-changing moment, one that inspired her in ways she had never felt before. She could hardly believe the beauty and intelligence the big apes possessed. She immediately knew that their kind was worth protecting. This feeling was only strengthened when she had a conversation with their guide on the way down the mountain. Mary learned of the horrific animal trade that was focused on gorillas. Turns out that their body parts had a very high market value, as they were believed to hold medicinal properties well sought after, both locally and internationally. In Gabon alone, there was a severe issue of gorillas being taken away from their troops and shipped elsewhere. Not only was this horrific for the individual ape taken, but also for the troop who had to relearn how to function without a member. Like humans, gorillas are extremely social beings that rely on their family unit to stay strong and learn. The younger ones are of course more vulnerable to changes, so when a mother or father goes missing, it means that a little baby loses its family and every hope for a decent future. This was exactly the case with Little Bobga. Mary had been running her anti-poaching organization with the help of some locals for almost five years when they came across a site that simply broke their hearts. They were called out to an emergency finding three hours away from the main camp. When they finally got there, they all wished they had been faster. Before them, in a wooden cage, sat a little gorilla no more than a year old. The person that had called the organization headquarters quickly explained that locals had reported sightings of cages being moved out of the jungle during the previous night. The brave locals had managed to scare the poachers off and loaded poor Bobga into their van. They believed that his mum was probably in one of the other cages and was taken away, leaving him orphaned. The little gorilla was devastated at the loss of his parents and looked at the man with teary eyes. To make matters worse, his body was tied to a rope that was attached to a pole in the middle of the cage, severely limiting his movements. Mary will never forget the image of the first time she saw little Bobga. She knew she needed to do everything in her power to ensure that he got the second chance at life that he deserved. One where he would be smothered with love and excitement. Mary and her colleagues loaded the little gorilla into their van and whisked him away to be medically assisted. It was vital that they established from the beginning that Bobga was healthy and ready to be transported to a safer destination. Mary and her husband were going to do everything in their power to ensure the well-being of the animals that came in contact with their organization. But unfortunately, too many people still saw them as nothing more than a hefty paycheck. Therefore, getting Bobka to a sanctuary where he would be safe and protected from greedy hands was an absolute priority. And that's how little Bobka ended up in the Limbs Wildlife Center in Cameroon. From the moment they released Bobga into his enclosure for the first time, the staff at the center simply knew he was special. He seemed to have a high level of intelligence that he used to keep entertained at all times. The freedom from the confines he had been kept in was also life-changing. For the first time in no one knows how long, he was finally able to run and tumble around a space big enough for a whole family. The staff vowed to take the best care possible of Bobga, working hard to ensure he would remain safe and grow in strength. Another main goal was to ensure that the poor little orphan was taught the simple tasks that his mother would have taught him so that he could grow up self-sufficient, social, and ready for his future life in the wilderness.
The latter was the most important if he was to join the other gorillas that were currently housed in the center. So, since his rescue in January of 2022, the little orphan has made strides that would make anyone proud, even if you didn't know what the milestones were for a baby gorilla. Bobga was paired with some caretakers that for a while would serve as his family. It was the caretaker's job to bond closely with the sweet ape and slowly teach him skills that he would need as an adult. It seemed Bobga simply adored his caretakers, forming very close, strong bonds with them. So much so that if another random caretaker was to enter one day, they would be quite confused. There was one caretaker in particular who truly brought out Bobga's loving side. He wasn't special in any way, no more than any other member of the organization. Nothing really set him apart from the other staff except for the way Bobga received him. It was as though this caretaker had something Bobga really loved, something that, however, no one was ever able to pinpoint. This caretaker's name was Alvin, and he very quickly became Bobga's new best friend. Alvin reported it as being an unexplainable connection, one that he valued extremely highly. Throughout all of his years caring for animals, he had been paired with some very special souls, but Alvin reckoned that Bobga was at the top of his list. What began as an instant hit-off, as good friends helped the youngling mature without losing his childish innocence. Very soon, thanks to Alvin, Bobga started swinging, climbing, and even playing games with his new friend. He became physically stronger and learned new dexterity skills. Alvin taught him to pick through objects while foraging for snacks and also how to play with a soccer ball. There was a plan in motion for Bobga that would take a few steps to be successful. Right now, he needed basic skills in order to function as an orphan, but the next step required him to be exposed to other gorillas in an effort to prepare him to be released into the wild again. Before that, though, he needed to reach an appropriate age. This was vital to ensure that Bobga could get a chance at the life he should have had before the poachers took it away from him. The more time Alvin spent with his beloved Bobga, the more the little orphan's confidence grew. He very quickly grew from a timid, hurt little gorilla to a socially apt ape that was happy to have a man as a best friend. Like human toddlers, baby gorillas are also quite prone to clinging to their caretakers for assurance and safety from the world. Thus, Bobga transferred this need for physical touch to his friend Alvin. He would hang on to Alvin, sit in his lap, and climb his body while Alvin stood. It showed how comfortable the ape was with his caretaker, which of course was a great thing. Everybody at the reserve knew how clingy Bobga would get whenever Alvin was around, but still, they didn't expect him to demand affection in a public setting. However, that's exactly what he did. On a day that was unusually cold for that particular time of year, Bobga desperately wanted cuddles and went straight to his best friend. Alvin made himself comfortable so that Bobka could settle in for some contact time. When a passerby saw the sweet moment between them, he took this heartwarming picture. Look at the pure joy and love that these two souls share in the photo. While this was beautiful, it's what happened next that truly blew everyone away. The photo went viral and helped to raise awareness of the plight of gorillas in Central Africa. A simple loving picture inspired thousands of people from around the world to support such a worthy cause. What more could you want if you were passionate about this? Would you ever consider joining an organization to help animals in need? Tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.